more lies. Guys, Rob from Georgia here with you, aka VHS 82 Apostrophe. I am your regular Wednesday evening host here at Body Bags, and it is weak. I'm gonna take a leap. Is it 351? Five, holy crap, did I go back in time? 521. Week 521 here at Body Bags. Um, as we celebrate uh, yet another random week. Um, yeah, better be random. I'm pretty sure it's a random week here this week. But uh, to, uh, I just reviewed this, uh, talked about this at some length um, for my Italy's Holocaust review. So I, I, I see it as a companion piece. So if you watch this, definitely check out my uh, Italy's Holocaust um, which I need to apologize to, and I did not when I did my review, but it really should already be up now. It's Sunday, and it is it is what it is sometimes. Um, so it'll be up. It'll be up today. But what I want to also just spend a few minutes for body bags uh, is uh, turn your attention to uh, what is on this Severn release of Alien from the Abyss, a film by Antonio Margarati, which really is, I don't know if capstone is the right word, but it is his pretty much his farewell uh, to a very, very, very long career in uh, Italian cinema that stretches so many genre boundaries. Uh, it just, I mean, from the Westerns to war to to um, to gothic horror to sci-fi, man. I mean, he was the innovator of the 60s, man. Battle of the Worlds with, uh, with Claude Rains, man. Absolutely freaking awesome. Um, but uh, on this disc, which is a really good reason to grab this disc, is for the documentary by his son, Eduardo uh, Magarati, uh, who it's only about an hour. Um, it is a packed hour. And if you are totally new to the cinema of, uh, of Antonio Magarati, then you will really, really super appreciate it. Um, if, if, if you are so steeped deep into the work of Margarati, um, because of your love for Italian cinema. Um, I don't know if there's anything really new uncovered in just an hour, um, but it is put together really well. And I just, I enjoy it. I just enjoy um, just seeing the scope of his, uh, his filmography, his, his career, um, his, his legacy uh, in um, the world of miniatures, model making, um, just, uh, taking something extremely small and making it so huge. Um, and the documentary does do a good job of just showing from the very beginning of his career. Um, the only thing it doesn't touch on Alien from the Abyss, and that's that's too bad because 89 really probably is his, um, this is probably his signature goodbye film as he goes off, at least into semi-retirement. Um, and it, and it is a, a nice farewell. But uh, but if you're talking about, you know, just a couple of the movies that I have in my collection of by Antonio Margarati, um, some of the ones, I don't, I mean, his film album is just like this, and I've got like that. Um, but I, I mean, I got some favorites, man. Killer Fish with Lee Majors is really awesome, man. Um, Cannibal Apocalypse is just absolute classic, classic stuff. Um, maybe his masterpiece uh, of gothic Horror, the Long Hair of Death, an incredible Raro uh, release. Highly suggest if this is still out there to pick it up. Um, and if you've ever occasionally, Barbara Steele's on that too, man. Um, gone the route of having, um, you know, the made to order by a Amazon, uh, Castle of Blood, um, and so much more. And I have a few more on my shelf, but what I really need is like Battle of the Worlds with Claude Rains or his the Wild Wild Planet. His, he's got a whole little stretch of sci-fi that is mind-boggling um, in terms of the innovation of what he was doing early on. Uh, the Western, um, I believe Klaus Kinski is just one of so many people that he had the privilege, pleasure of directing who went to Italy thinking that their careers were being laid in a graveyard and suddenly they felt, you know, a renewal of, or opportunity to, you know, put a lasting, you know, mark on their career. Um, and they did so many times compliments of somebody like Antonio Margarati. Um, uh, you know, John Saxon, I mean, you know, getting a chance to uh, do some Italian with working with Dario, working with Antonio and so many others. Um, 
it, you can't really, I mean, you really can't really say a whole lot about it, a documentary because then what's the purpose of watching it? I will say this, um, Enzio Castellari, uh, you see him in here, Luigi Cozy, um, Alberto Delacroix, man, the Delacroix family. I mean, come on, if, you, if, if you're into Italian cinema, you know that family. Um, w William Lustig has a uh, has uh, a small role here, uh, speaking uh, some Maggarati. Franco Nero has a little bit of here. And of course, my favorite screenwriter of all Italian cinema, uh, Dardano Sacchetti, uh, Sacchetti, take your pick. Um, uh, is uh, has some time here speaking um, to Magarati. Um And so, you know, it is, again, it's only an hour. Uh, but for what it does in an hour, it does a nice job of just spanning the scope of someone whose accomplishments, um, what they did for Italian cinema, it will never, ever, ever, I just don't know if it'll ever be appreciated um but maybe small little reviews like this that span five to six eight ten twelve minutes or whatever can do a little to tell people that you really need to be curious about people like antonio Mogherati. if you love just if you love film man um and you know i mean and if and if a cheesy italian cinema is really not your thing um the long hair of death. There ain't nothing cheesy about this movie. This is, I mean, right next to Black Sunday. This is classic stuff. Classic gothic horror at its best. Um, and you get to things like this. Yeah, you're in a, you're in another realm. <laughs> you're in another. You either love it or you don't, man. Um, you know, this has got some good jungle, jungle stuff going on with an alien running amok. You've got uh, uh, environmental extremists dumping waste uh, into a boat. A, a I'm sorry. You got environmental extremists who are trying to pull the carpet off from a company called Ecam that is dumping stuff into a volcano. Um, and then, of course, you have an alien that suddenly is. Uh, uh, I don't know if we ever really know if the alien has always been there residing and then suddenly is unleashed because of all this activity, or it does come from some other place in space and uh, to run amok, cause havoc. Uh, it really owes itself to um, H.R. Geiger in terms of his design um, for this particular movie. But the documentary talks on a lot of that stuff, not this film per se, unfortunately. It, it stops short of it, uh, somewhere short of it, which really um, stinks. I'm not sure why that was. Um, not sure really why that was, but um, fabulous documentary. Um, now I just throw out there who Sam Dagan, um, film historian man if you have any italian films um there's always possible you may have her uh as a film historian commentary track running she is absolutely out of this world now i know you got tim lucas and others but sam dagan's really fun and i think it was a lindsay is it nightmare beach that's what i might i was trying to think of in the last review i did for the actual film um i think sam dagan's on there uh in what she says in an hour and a half uh, the length of the film in terms of the history of Lindsay is just insane. Um, her love and appreciation for Italian cinema. So if you if you can get your hands on Sam Dagan commentary track, uh, that's well worth it uh, too. Um, but the documentary, uh, it's really just a, a, a son's love for his father and wanting to share his father's accomplishments uh, in an hour. And if you don't, if you can't make time for an hour, I mean, look. We got document documentaries out there that run seven, eight, nine hours. You know, the big giant ones, franchise documentaries. I think you can fit an hour into your time span somewhere. But anyways, um, The Outsider. Um, check it out. And this is, I, I, sh I should have checked. This is not the only uh, Magarati film release that they put that documentary on. I have a feeling it's on a couple. Um, so... Look, check. If you got some Margarati films in there, newer releases, uh, take a check. It may be on there and you might not have known about it. It's just uh, I have I have found documentaries way back in my collection. I had no idea I had until I just checked and looked and went, what? I got that. So anyways, you never know. But definitely it is worth 
Uh, and you know, these days it's probably on YouTube. Um, but I, but it, it's worth getting your hands on a, on a Margareti film. Um, Battle of the Worlds, that is the next one up for me, I think, trying to get my hands on. I really want to get that in my collection. So here at Body Bags at week 521, just looking at a small little documentary that everyone should be uh, check out, man. It's worth it, man. Especially if you have any love for Italian cinema. As always, we end these things off with Go Bills. This is not a dream. Not a dream. We might be useful to you.